episode 4. Hi, my name is Sophie Dipmar. I'm a psychologist, inspirator and author. Among other things, I have written the instructions for an enlightened life and I'm currently busy creating a documentary about the renewed form of spirituality and my self-thought method, better known as the Rose Theory and Formula. My method helps you to get out of your polluted conditioned mind and helps you to live your full potential from the sequence spirit, mind, physical. I believe that abundance in all areas of your life is your birthright and in this podcast I will demonstrate you how you can claim this birthright through my Rose Method. I write my books and I create my content in collaboration with my Universal Energy Translator Rose and I and we wish you a lot of fun on this transformational journey. Unique and perfect is what you are. Hey guys, this is the fourth episode. Thank you so much for listening so far. And this time around, I want to do something different because I want to share a sound clip of a Facebook Live that I did in the community of my coach, Jim Fortune. And, um, Fortune, I need to say. And I don't think I need to say, tell you so much about it uh, on forehand, um, up forehand, on forehand. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> But um, it's a very valuable clip and I really wanted to share this because I think that it will help you, well, find some answers for yourself and also really um, hopefully get inspired to to really live your life from your own values and from your own um, rules and really do what you feel compelled to do because at the end, That is the most rewarding thing if you do things your way and like the song I did it my way do your things your way and then you'll see that everything unfolds in a beautiful manner and the feedback that I got from the people in the community on this Facebook live was really truly amazing so if you guys are listening thank you so much for that and um, enjoy listening to this uh, um, audio thank you for listening and I really 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 love to ask you guys to share this um, podcast with your friends or with family or with people who are a little bit more skeptical or uh, leave a ranking on iTunes whatever you do feel free to do it but um, um, share your energy your way okay thank you so much and enjoy listening bye bye Okay, maybe this is a little bit unusual to not do a live but do a video but I really felt compelled to do a video um, I'm in my reset right now and it's a little similar to what Jim uh, has taught us uh, earlier this week but since this summer I do resets once in a while and those resets are like 24 no 48 hours sorry 48 hours at least that i am actually not directly in contact with others and usually i wouldn't record any videos or podcasts or anything like that in resets even if i feel inspired action however this reset is a little bit different because i also am um doing of recording sort of a video diary for the reset kit i sell uh, so i can really teach people how to do a reset so i just recorded a video for for the diary and i figured well let's do the video that i actually promised to do last friday and last friday i was sort of at a point that i thought oh no i do not need to be anywhere on social media right now so I have to break that promise, which is interesting because we are in the week of integrity, or we were in the week of integrity, and um, I didn't follow up on something I promised, but I shouldn't have promised it uh, in the first place, that's what I realized. And I was sort of wondering why I didn't show up um, earlier in the community, and I was thinking about that uh, a lot this week, Um, and I think it has to do with... um, I think it has to do with this, that I feel sort of, um, I don't know if guilt is the right word, but I feel like I, like I had some really cool things happening. Um, We, I'm not sure if it's 
if if it's 100 percent confirmed it's not 100 percent confirmed yet but the chances are really big that we're doing a live interview this thursday with byron katie that i get to do a live interview with her this friday uh, this thursday um that's a big thing and i would have loved to share that with you guys in the community but i haven't done that yet it hasn't been confirmed yet so that's also a reason why i didn't share it yet but uh, that's big news. The other big news was that I launched my English podcast um, this week and it came in at number seven in iTunes charts right on the first day, which was really, really cool. The, f the funny, I don't know if it's funny, but I posted that um, in the community that we came in at number seven. And like 10 minutes after that I posted it, I removed it again because I felt so... Um, wrong by doing it i was like oh my god you shouldn't be doing this why are you are you sharing this this is egocentric uh, you shouldn't share that success with with the community because you haven't showed up you haven't showed up in the community but <laughs> first of all i wonder if that's true I, am i only allowed to share something if i show up more often so that's an interesting question to ask myself is that true or is it not true uh, probably not but yeah, that's what my mind tells me the other thing is that um, Facebook or social media in general is not my um, it's not my life I, I do not spend time on social media personally so for the business I have my team that's active on social media so I'm on Facebook and Instagram but I am not active on social media oh yeah on Insta story I do um, post something something sometimes but other than that I'm not active there and um, so it's not in my system to be on Facebook and to be quite honest with you guys I do not want to spend time on Facebook because I have better things to do but again that feels kind of selfish to say that or claim that and on the other hand uh, that I uh, do uh, come into the community to share my successes that feels sort of I don't know unethical or something so I mainly just wanted to share this yeah uh, inside with you uh, so that you guys know what's happening with me uh, that you guys uh, I don't know I, I don't need to um, explain why I'm not in the community I mean I don't owe anyone anything I know that but then again you guys have a lovely energy and give me a great or gave me a great deal of support on all my last videos so yeah i do sort of feel like i do own my energy uh, to you guys as well um that being said i am in my mind involved in the community i watch all the replays uh, from the lives with jim i choose not to be uh, they're always on the live calls because it's at 10 p.m. at night in uh, the Netherlands and One of my things is that I spend quality time with my husband and my dog at night and I Either spend time with him or I spend time with you guys, but I can I can do both I mean that wouldn't be I don't think that's uh, that's not the value I live from I, I do things 100% or I don't do them at all so I choose a lot of the times to spend time with Maurice and the dog um, on the mon on the Tuesday evening calls. But I watch them always um, the next morning um, after I take a walk with the dog. I put on my earplugs and I'll have an hour or an hour and a half most of the time to to listen to uh, to the replays. And I absolutely love the energy there and uh, all the things we're learning from uh, from Jim. So. Well, that's, uh, that's my update and um, I feel, I want to say I hope you guys get it, but I mean, I know you guys get it and that's also a little bit of a conditioned thing to say, like I hope you guys get it, I know you guys get it and uh, again, it's also important for me to understand I don't owe anyone anything, um, however, there is sort of a yeah, slim 
uh, how do you say boundary or slim line between um, yeah I don't know being selfish and not caring and I don't know I, you get the point I think it's um, that's the sort of mind trick I have in my mind like actually <laughs> I thought I was gonna wrap it up but actually it's an old story and I know this old story very well because I have spoken about it a lot but one of my old stories was that I am not a sincere person so I have a father who well, I have a history with him and um, I realized <laughs> I get emotional it's funny um, I realized that um, a couple of years ago that one of my biggest story was I'm not a sincere person I do things for the wrong reasons and um, um, I only do do it <laughs> um, I only do it for my own gain which I know in my heart is not true but it has been a story that has been um, following me for a while or actually my whole life and I only uh, distant from that story I think a year ago and um, that was quite a a story to go through because when I started charging high amounts of money for my coaching like I have a sort of a, an inner circle um, um, a coaching I, I won't do that in the future anymore because I stopped as a coach um, but uh, my prices on a, a triact we call it for six months is 14,000 euros and then you get to see me one once a month live in a group so those are pretty significant numbers and um, it took me really a while to, to work through my story to really believe that I could charge that and still be a sincere person and do it for the right reasons. So I think that, that story came a little bit up in this whole scenario about me wanting to share, me wanting to share my success stories with you and then again um, feeling that that wouldn't be appropriate or yeah I think it's enough <laughs> I think you get the point um, I hope I can upload this on Facebook otherwise I will send it to Jim's team and see if, it, if I can get it to you guys um, I won't post it today because I'm still my reset so I will post it on Monday when my reset is uh, done Thank you guys for watching and um, see you when I see you.